Hi, Eric Gibo, ericgibo.com, and it has been a long time since I did not present anything from KF Concept. And today this is this tripod, the X284C4 with the bullhead BH36. Whoa, thank you so much Mr. KF Concept for uh, having so simple names to remember for me and to pronounce, okay? So basically, this is a great carbon fiber tripod. So we're going to have a look at it. So let's start. Oh, maybe you're asking where is this going now? Yeah, uh, maybe you saw the video where I presented the flat I have now. Well, where I live, it's not mine, where I live, okay? That is massive, I made the studio part. But this is a terrace, 15 meters by eight. And uh, yeah, I can record video here or my small dog run around, Dakota is running around, okay? But also uh, I can record video and also we'll probably make some photo shoots with uh, mixing ambient light and flash, all this. But today I'm using uh, my uh, neighbor palm tree for this video. So let's carry on. Like every uh, tripod by KF Concept, you get a bag to transport it, really nice, okay? So open it here, you will find some uh, specs and instruction manual here, okay? You will also find a strap in, one, in case you want to carry the bag uh, on your shoulder, for example. And also you will get some small bag with Allen keys. Many people, when they see that, they get scared. They think, oh, so you need to repair it or something? No. Every tripod, don't, doesn't matter which brand, okay, you always need from time to time to tighten the screws, okay? So it's really good they put, they include uh, the small Allen keys. And also, also, oh, <laughs> yes, a tripod, we came for that. Okay, so let's speak about it. So here it is, as you can see, carbon fiber uh, legs. Uh, one of them has a rubber because actually uh, it is a monopod. You can actually uh, disconnect and connect to your head, okay? To your head, to the tripod head, okay? <laughs> Obviously not your head, okay? And uh, the way it works is uh, you have some twist uh, locks like this, okay? Some people prefer to have the lock that goes this way. Well, it depends. One is faster to close, the other one is slower to close, and the other way around when you're going to open it. So, wow, what you gain at the beginning, you waste it at the end, same thing. But the good thing about this is uh, uh, with time, the clip, well, I didn't call that the, the other lock system, if you don't have the, the option to tighten tight it a bit, it doesn't work as good anymore, so, so it won't be as tight, okay? But this one, you just twist it a bit stronger, and that's it, okay? Uh, you have uh, four sections, okay? The more section you have, the less steady it is, but the less section you have, the longer it is to uh, keep it in, in the bag. So it depends what you want to do, okay? And uh, the way it comes, it's reversed. So you actually need to put legs this way, okay? To open it, so otherwise you feel it's the other way around. And here you have the column. That's uh, you can actually revert it if you want, but that's the way it looks when it's ready. Okay, so uh, we're going to look more de uh, look at it in more details. Okay, here's Dakota. Now she got four months. She's four months old since the 20th of November, and yesterday she got her first haircut. Uh, yeah, they took out out. Half of the dog is gone, okay, <laughs> and she has some eyes, okay, cannot believe it. I didn't see the eyes anymore, okay, here she is, say hi. So here's the head, okay, you have a standard Arca Swiss plate, okay, some uh, cage actually, uh, for camera cage, they have already integrated the Arca Swiss, so you could fit it in there directly. Here you have a bubble level, okay, the head here, you can move it all around, and also 90 degrees, Put your camera uh, this way. Obviously, yes, you can remove the head and place another head if you want it, okay? Uh, don't remove it completely because when you demo, then after you speak and try to tighten it again and you become crazy, okay? And here also, you can uh, move, uh, turn around 360 degrees if you want for uh, panorama, okay? Typical situation of mushroom photographer, they want to have the camera really low on the floor, so it's really easy. Here you have a hook. This hook is normally to hang your bag, so you have the center of gravity, gravity really low, so it's a lot more stable. But when you want to reverse the column, you just take it out. Okay, you unscrew here. Okay, remove the column. Place it back here. Okay. Okay. Many people, they keep the hook in the pocket. Never do that. 
place it again. Why? Because if you don't tight this enough, your camera would fall on the floor. With the hook, you have a safety. All good tripod, they have this, okay? So then you screw it here, okay? And here, you if you so get the legs in there, uh, then uh, you actually have your camera next to the floor, okay? So really easy to reverse the column. Eric, tell us about the monopod, tell us about the monopod. Okay, let's go for it, okay? Just because you ask, you just remove the head that is here. Okay, here it is. You remove the monopod legs, it's actually written here, eh? okay? Then you screw it together. And then you have a monopod. What is that for? Well, sometimes you cannot use a tripod like New York City or Barcelona, you need an authorization for it, okay? And sometimes it's not an authorization problem, it's just because, like, for example, you make car racing pictures and uh, you actually want to keep uh, the movement, the, the rotation, okay? So you can uh, control one axis and still have the rotation easily, okay? This is uh, what our monopod for. They're really useful, many people forget they exist and they're really good in many situations. So here included, you have a monopod. Also here you have uh, the screw space here, also here you have a small, uh, screw here you can actually hang something from here uh, this is to place some accessories it's like a small uh, yeah a small metal bar and then you could place like a, a monitor or your smartphone all this in a video i said that and people thought it was optional with a kf concept no this is not uh, specific to this tripod but this kind of accessory exists so if you wanted to use it, use them, you could use on this one, okay? You have the screws for it, okay? Well, the spaces to, to screw it here, okay? So, light against or light in favor. Uh, for my eyes, I prefer to have it uh, this way. It's not as good for the background. It's a bit, uh, yeah, it's burnt, okay? Doesn't matter. The important is to speak about the product, okay? Uh, well, actually, I've said many things already. Uh, extra things. Well, the maximum height with the column out is 1725 millimeter which is 67.9 inches uh, many people make this massive mistake uh, they actually think they buy a tripod according to the height that's not the way it works you should buy it according to the kind of picture you want to make some people that are six foot uh, high they think that they need a six foot high tripod that's not the way it works uh, otherwise you would have always all your picture from top so you actually buy a tripod according to what you want to do but having a higher tripod has two benefits. First one is that, uh, well, you can go higher, it's more steady in some situation. And also you have a several option uh, height wise, really high or really low, okay? If the column is not out, then it's a 1,410 millimeter, which is uh, five uh, feet uh, 50, I think, something like this. And with the legs completely in, you have 585 millimeter, which is 23 uh, inches, okay? Um, if we look at, uh, I said 5.5, uh, no, 55, uh, sorry, 55 inches uh, with uh, uh, the column uh, down, okay? When it's folded, 500 millimeter, 50 centimeters, 19.7 inches, which is great because it fits in a suitcase that can go in a cabin, in a plane, okay? The load capacity is 16 kilos, which is 35.2 pounds, which is massive. Uh, do you have a camera that weighs that much? No, not really. But that's good news. It means it's really steady, can uh, bear a lot of weight, can put a good bag underneath, uh, hanging from the hook. So yeah, great, great uh, load uh, capacity. Fantastic. The weight, 2,251 grams, which is 4.6 pounds, okay? Some people say, yeah, but if it's carbon fiber, it's a bit heavy. Big mistake. You do not pick a carbon fiber tripod because of the weight. You get it because of the steadiness. It's not flexible, it's a lot more steady. It doesn't vibrate as much, it's better, okay? Obviously, when you have carbon fiber, it's a bit lighter, but you still have many metal plates, uh, pieces you still have many metal pieces like the head, like the locks, all this. So it's not a lot lighter, it's a bit lighter, okay? But I repeat, carbon fiber is because of rigidity, not because of weight, okay? So my conclusion, well, for me, uh, I've tested so many KF concept tripods that, well, they all work fine for me, they're really good, okay? 
Uh, there are some better tripods, okay, but a lot more expensive. Some are a lot worse than this and sometimes more expensive, okay? So I can say only one thing. Yes, I can also recommend this tripod, okay? The way it works is really, really good, okay? So completely recommend it. In case you would be interested, I'll leave you links in the description where you can buy it. So thank you so much KF Concept for sending me the tripod. Thank you to you for watching the video. If you feel it may interest other people, please share it on social networks. If you have not done it yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There is a small uh, button down here, it's a small bell. If you click on the bell, get notified when I upload a new video. My website, ericgibo.com. If you have any question, can leave a comment below. Also leave you links of my on Amazon, links of everything I reviewed by KF Concept, Sandmark, and flashes by Westcott more affiliated links and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.